I am Vilas Tronapi, Director of uh, Indian Institute of Millets Research, Hyderabad. Uh, this institute is a, a research organization under Indian Council of Agricultural Research. This institute worked almost for 50 years in Sorghum earlier and now for the last five years we are working on all eight millets starting from sorghum, pearl millet, foxtail millet, little millet, barnyard millet, kodo millet then also some of the uh, new millets like uh, brown top millet and as well as the exotic millets like uh, taff and also phonio. So the idea here is to diversify the food plate of everyone because the green revolution created uh, rice and wheat and the food city security around them but the fact is we lost the nutrition and malnutrition and also the zero hunger are the issues which the united nation is trying to address today so this institute uh, in order to address the united nations goals and also the mandate of uh, indian council of agricultural research we are working on crop improvement of all millets evolving new varieties, new hybrids in sorghum and pearl millet and also the new package of practices, cultivation practices so that the yields are increased, farmers get a better income. That is what is the main goal. But having done this, we assume that farmers should get better price, his income should double, he should be linked more to the land and cultivate more millets so that availability of the millets improves for both rural and urban population because malnutrition is same in both rural and urban population. And uh, like PDS in the public distribution system or a midday meal scheme or women and child development programs, we are working with the government initiating the policies on millet mission. That's how the government of India uh, declared uh, the uh, year 2018 as the national year of millets and our efforts with the government of India uh, has uh, impressed upon the United Nations and uh, 2023 is declared as the International Year of Millets. So next five years, we with the national partners, agriculture universities and state governments, so 21 state governments involved in the millet mission will work together to see that the diversification of agriculture takes place just not revolving around rice and wheat but more and more of these millets will also be cultivated and the governments would take these millets into public distribution system and also the governmental programs so that the malnutrition aspect is addressed so the entire ecosystem what we are building today is to see that the legitimate place for the millets made to be available in the global food basket. That is what is the main aim and goal of the Indian Council of Agriculture Research and also the Indian Institute of Millets Research. So having the crop improvement in progress, we have released hundreds of varieties uh, since 1960s if we take in all the millets put together for irrigated ecosystem, dryland ecosystem and also biofortified varieties which are rich in nutrition whether it is the dietary fiber or calcium, magnesium, iron then the whole lot of complex carbohydrates which help the people to address the uh, what you call the lifestyle diseases like diabetes, hypertension, the colon cancer and other related things which are due to the consumption of uh, mono food items or mono food systems. So we are creating an ecosystem of one millet a day means there are eight millets means you have eight millet rices available for the people to eat not just the paddy rice. So that is where you are pushing in diversity in food plus also the nutrition which is not there that much in the rice per se. So that is how 
the people need to be impressed upon and we are creating an awareness program for the people to go for diversified food and millets. That is how you can see in the last three years that the demand for millets has increased in most of the states, both in urban ecosystem and also in the rural areas. Why? What we want to do is not only the urban population should consume, but also the person who grows these millets should also consume. Because today he is adopting the cheap rice and wheat and selling the millets to the others. But if the production increases, he will also consume more as well as he will sell the extra things to the market so that the nutrition ecosystem is balanced here. And the third component we are uh, looking at is uh, to address the malnutrition in children, uh, aged group, the dental hygiene with millets and as well as its bioavailability so that the entire uh, imbalances in the body will go away with millets as a food system. So millets as a medicine, we can say. So people can get rid of medicines, but food alone can help you to conquer the lifestyle diseases. The third aspect what we are creating is the business around millets. This institute has a business incubator and also the center of excellence where we create new and novel food products, ready to eat, ready to cook, and also experiment around various traditional food items so that people will go for them because changing food habit is like changing the behavior of the people. That is the most difficult aspect. So if we can change the behavior of the people by creating awareness, creating better taste, creating better nutrition and creating a range of products around millets, I think people will go for that. That's how we have created till now more than uh, 50 plus products from starting from vermicelli to pasta to biscuits to you name it and even you can have uh, seven bre different breakfast cereals now why only corn flakes you can have uh, flakes of uh, kodo millet little millet ragi jowar bajra so like this you have so much of diversity available so they provide you different food products and also the better nutrition so by creating this thing, we have created an entrepreneurship ecosystem. Uh, about uh, 60 plus business enterprises have been created and uh, they are in different levels in throughout India. And uh, our business incubation uh, also uh, has the first set of graduates uh, who have passed out recently. We conducted recently a Nutri-Serial Conclave, selected uh, another 14 people on board to be our incubators. They will work with novel ideas, creating new enterprises, new food types. And that's how we feel that this institute is contributing not just for the food security in the dry lands, but also food security for whole of the country wherein the entire ecosystem of nutrition is also fulfilled and that's how our mandate to serve the nation to create a better food, nutrition dense lifestyles and freedom from lifestyle diseases. So millets are the answer and that's how Indian Institute of Millets Research is here to serve people through research, development, extension and also working with the uh, farmer producer organizations then also the tribal groups and also the uh, other farmers who are in the drylands so that is why uh, the green revolution in drylands can come through millets because they are sustainable and they are uh, the last answer when the monsoon fails they are the insurance against the drought that's how these provide the better nutritious grains and also the fodder for the cattle. So we create uh, food security, nutrition security and also livestock security. The value added products can be of different ranges. Only thing is we need to create uh, different tastes as different countries prefer. So we have basic items like pasta, like vermicelli, for like noodles, like uh, semolina, like biscuits. So 
basic technology is there only thing is we need to play around uh, with these products to create new flavors so flavors can be created yes. so if indians prefers masala kind of things that masala prefer uh, uh, taste can be developed around if somebody prefers subtle nature of uh, taste and uh, food products we can create around that so creating flavor and taste okay. is left to the creativity of the person who is manufacturing so we teach the basic technology and also what more could be created so 